You know, this 14 year old is just making incredible pro progress here in just a few short days. Now, she wasn't quite ready to tell her own story of survival yet, but her family telling me today she's just happy to be alive. It's our first look at a teenager who survived the unthinkable. She's right behind you. Yeah, she's trying to get better. Shot in the head multiple times Sunday. That's 14-year-old Jasmine Jones awake, alert, and petting a comfort dog in her hospital bed Thursday. She's like a miracle. I think she's a living, walking miracle. The Racine High School freshman is recovering after a violent attack in the midst of a teenage breakup. Her 14-year-old boyfriend now charged with attempted homicide. The shooting apparently fueled by a social media post and Jones breaking off their relationship along these train tracks at 21st and Memorial. I can't even believe that somebody that age could be so evil, but you know, it's out there and I believe, I don't think he should never get out if you ask me. How are her spirits? Her spirits are pretty good. The teen wasn't up for speaking with us. With her hair, no makeup or something like that on TV. No, she won't do that. <laughs> She's a typical teenager. She'll be like, heck no, I ain't doing that, Grandma. <laughs> but this typical teenager will now face life with a different outlook. Jones lost her left eye and is wearing a patch. She also has a bullet lodged near her spine. Even the doctors are astounded. And nobody could believe how she got shot five times and is still here. So emotionally, it's going to be hard for her. That's going to be a long road, I'm sure. Grandma says the girl's strength to survive saved her life. Jones told police she managed to get away after being shot, flagging down drivers for help. She literally had to run for her life and, and get away. She, she fought for her life and she won because she's here. Hillary, it is beyond remarkable to see her up behind everyone in the hospital. The 14-year-old, Jasmine, may be headed home soon, too. Well, Kristen, her family tells me she is expected to be released from the hospital this week as early as tomorrow. And they also tell me they hope to meet those two good Samaritans who stopped to help her on the side of the road and called 911. One of them, they tell us, was a nurse. All right. Thank you so much, Hillary Mintz, reporting live from Children's Wisconsin.